Alright, so today is Wednesday, May 15th. It is 9.45 a.m. And so what I got planned today is this. I went to Cabela's the other day and I got probably about, I think, five different types of lures to try out for different, I guess, episodes for the channel. And so today I'm going to be trying this. These are probably the smallest swim baits I've ever seen. Uh, they're probably more jigs than swim baits. I don't know what they're actually labeled. But they're Uncle Buck's panfish creatures. So the goal today is to basically just fish these. I have two different colors. I have this black and gray color and I have this black and chartreuse color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rigged up and get started. But the goal today is just to fish these and see if we can catch some fish on them. I'm about to give it cast number one. I actually have pretty high hopes for this thing, so let's see how it performs. Cast number one. And that was not where I was trying to cast it. Oh, this thing's following it already. I don't think this one has any problems catching fish. Let's just see if I can control where I'm casting better. So the issue is going to be controlling where I cast because this is so light. Oops. There we go. Oh. There we go. Fish on. All right, guys. Here's fish number one. He completely took that swim bait in. Gotta get the pliers to get it out. Fish number one. Uh, fish number one. Working on fish number two. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, man. Oh. Whew. Ooh, man. That's no good. Oh, my heart. <laughs> so. The edge is slick. Here we go, fish on. The better one. Whew. Nice, man. Nice size of bluegill. I think it was strong. All right, just got fish number two. Nice size of bluegill, man. I think it was strong, fought well. Get this hook out and let him go. All right, so after fishing this thing for a few minutes, I can tell you that it works pretty well. I'm getting a lot of bites. I'm having a tr little bit of trouble setting the hook. I don't know if that's because tiny, tiny fish are going after it. That's what I'm guessing. But the action in the water, it looks pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it so far. But let's keep going. There we go, fish on. What do we got? Oh, another tiny bluegill. All right, fish number three of the day. Just another tiny bluegill. Get the hook out and let him go. Oh, all right, guys. So we just suffered the first casualty. Broke off the first one. But uh, the only complaints that I have with this lure so far is just the castability. I think I have six pound test on. It might be four, but I want to say it's six. And just a little bit difficult to cast with accuracy. But other than that, it's been getting a lot, a lot of strikes. I'm sure it's from a lot tinier fish that the hook can fit in their mouth. But the fish that do seem to take it get hooked really well. So the hooks are sharp on this and it performs pretty well. I think I'm going to try the black and gray one right now and see how that one does. Oh, fish on. What do we got? Oh man. Another bluegill. Oop. There we go. Oh. 
All right, another bluegill. All right, another bluegill. I'm trying to get another species, but I keep getting bluegill after bluegill, but I'll take them. All right, guys, so so far this thing has been highly efficient. I'm trying to get another species, but all I keep catching is a bluegill. I'm gonna keep going and see if I can get anything else. But like I said, so far this thing's been highly efficient. All right guys, I just made it to another spot. This spot looks pretty promising. Hopefully I can pull something else other than a blue gallery here. I really need to stay off of this mud, man. It's so slick, I've almost fallen twice today. But I'm down here, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Finally, man, got another species. All right, man, so finally just got another species. Pulled out a white bass. Finally, man, get this hook out and let him go. There we go. Ooh, oh, ooh. All right, man. Finally, got another, another species, man. Was waiting for one of these guys to show up. All right, so another species finally decided to show up. Got a little red breast sunfish. Go ahead and get this hook out. And let him go. I'm not surprised I caught one of these today. Just took a while. All right, so this thing's finally got too beat up to keep casting, keep sliding whenever I cast. But it lasted for quite a while, so go ahead and switch out colors, going back to green now. But it was actually supposed to rain today, the sky's getting pretty dark, so I'll probably stay for another, probably like 45 minutes to an hour and I try to head out. But I definitely would recommend these, especially for panfish. Oh, nice. Nice, man. Nice. Oh. Oh, man. So hopefully this camera got it. I forgot to turn my GoPro back on, but just caught a nice little largemouth out of here. Things fight well on an ultralight rod. So what is that? Species number four on these, man. Let's let them go. All right, guys. So let's talk strategy. So what I'm doing with this is I'm just casting out. I'm looking for areas that have a bunch of trees overhanging the water. <clears throat> Insects tend to drop off trees and fall into the water so fish will feed on them. So any type of pool, slow moving pool or body that I can find that has overhanging trees, I'm just casting this under and I'm either just slowly reeling in or reeling in and popping the rod. And that seems to be what's working today. But like I said, just look for overhanging trees and cast right in. Fish seem to go for it. Well, I just started drizzling, so that's gonna have to do for the day. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Take care, tight lines. Oh, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and like. Take care. Another blue girl.